Hello and welcome to Sakel. And again, here we are, Genesis. We're talking about the letters in the beginning. Now, uh, we've got a lot to talk about, so let's just jump right in, grab you some tea or coffee. Here we go. Father, we just thank you for your word. We thank you that it doesn't return void. Pray you open up our ears to hear our mouths speak. Give us a grace for this place, for this time, this season, our life. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, yesterday, or in the video, whatever it was, um, we talked about how that in the beginning lacks a subject. When we talk about in the beginning, we're talking about in the beginning of something. But what it, what it says in Genesis chapter 1, verse 1, is in the beginning God, signifying that everything is through Him, by Him, of Him, the past, present, and the future. And in the word Genesis, which is in the beginning, we see a little glimpse by looking at the individual letters. And let's just let's take a look here. We talked about the bet in the last video, how it represents uh, the blessing, creation, duality, and plurality. And by the way, there's so much more of this stuff, and that we, we just got little time, so, you know, but anyway, that's how it works. But, uh, and we talked about the classifications, the duality, the plurality, and, and the written and the oral, and the distinction between Adam and Eve, and, 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 and so on and so forth. Today, uh, in this video, what we're going to talk about is the resh. And, and by doing so, this is the bet. We're going to talk about the resh. Now, the resh represents choosing between greatness and uh, degradation. Excuse my writing on this thing, but it's, it's glass. It's a little difficult. So anyway, and what this represent is the it rep, this letter represents in in Hebrew is the passageway between heaven and earth. Okay, it also represents any can return. It represents the heroic penitent or teshiva, and it stands for the wicked. So here's what I want you to see. The first thing I want you to see is that this letter represents the fact that there are wick there is wickedness. Now remember in the last video we talked about uh, the bet which talks about the duality, the spiritual and the natural world. So there's two worlds and how God wanted man to live in this higher world. But we know man had the ability to choose. He could choose greatness or he could choose uh, degradation, which is a state of constantly turning in a fallen state. Now, uh, when you look at this, This letter, it also shows that it represents the passageway between heaven and earth. So notice, notice there's this passageway, and the Bible even talks about a highway or a road from heaven to earth. Okay, it talks about this. The thing about it, when Adam and Eve chose to eat of the tree of knowledge and become self advising, that pathway was shut off. Their, their temple is now tainted, for lack of better words. Okay, it's tainted. And, but yet this letter also says anyone can return. But it also says or represents the heroic penitent, which is a, a person who is living a life of repentance, teshiva. It stands for the wicked. So the wicked, when we choose things against God, it's wickedness. And if we live, and we're all born into sin. We're all born this way. 
And, and the reason why you are put on this earth is to find God and to know Him. Okay? You are put in on this earth to find the Creator and to know Him. And not only that, you're put here to to know him in such a way. I, re, you know, it's kind of like it's kind of like a, a, a dating. You know, the Bible talks about a marriage supper of the Lamb. To the Christian, it's the rapture of the church. When we experience the the, the marriage supper of the Lamb, then we come back and rule and reign with Christ. Uh, it's almost kind of like we're dating right now and being engaged and determining if we really want to serve Jesus, serve God, and we're getting to know Him. And then as we begin to know Him more and more, now we want to be committed to Him. We want to be in covenant with Him. And we are waiting for that day for, this, for the solidifying of this covenant, if you will. This is part of the repentance. Repentance is not a one-time thing. It is a constant thing. As a matter of fact, I, I recommend you go watch the, the, uh, the, the, the Teshuvah uh, or Teshuvah videos uh, returning to the Lord and watch those. Anyone can return, but the only way you can return is through the Messiah, the Word that became flesh, period. There's no other way. Remember, remember this thing, this letter talks about a passageway between heaven and earth. He is the one who built a bridge over this broken road that Adam made. This broken road that Adam made is now been repaired. What the first Adam couldn't do, the Bible says, the second Adam did. He built a bridge, if you will, that anyone can return to the Lord through repentance of sin. Through Christ, the Messiah, Jesus, the Son of the living God. Now you think about that just a minute. The, the, the Jews, the Torah, if you do the Torah, you're righteous. Through us, Jesus is that Torah that becomes flesh. We've talked about that. We're going to talk about it some more. Yet, we believe in His works. But that doesn't stop. Belief doesn't stop because there's still things we have to obey. And through repentance, this road has been rebuilt. Anyone can return and leave their wickedness. They can choose greatness or they can stay in a destructive state. It's up, it's up to us. Anyone can return. That's the thing about it. And that's what this second letter in the word beginning is all about. You see the two worlds here. You see the spiritual and the natural. You see the, the duality and the plurality in the bet, in the resh. Here we see that man chooses wrongly, becomes wicked. The path between heaven and earth is broken. But a man can return, anyone can return, okay? But he has to do it through repentance. Jesus said it this way. He said, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. That's the principle. Believe in him, repent in his doing. In other words, believe in his doing and repent. And then obey the scripture. This is, this is part of the heroic penitent, or this is part of the person who is dedicated to repentance, and he's turning away from his wickedness, 
and he's returning to the creator who created him. This is in the beginning. This is in the word, the beginning. The symbolism and types of every letter is in the beginning. God who knows the ending from the beginning. He knew man would fall or have the ability to fall. He gave man the choice to fall. That proves he's not a control freak. <laughs> By giving man choice, God's not a control freak. And he's still giving man the opportunity today to choose. In Deuteronomy, I said before you today, life and death, blessings and cursing, you choose. In the New Testament, for God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. You choose. We choose our greatness or we choose our, our place in, 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 in degradation. We were meant for greatness because you go back to this first letter, it's about the, 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 the plurality, the peculiar people. It's about a different class many in a different class. You see, when we choose degra degradation, man is no longer man, woman is no longer woman. There's no duality. There is a messed up situation. When we choose degradation, the, the spiritual world and the natural world become very confusing. The plurality of classes become very confusing. In other words, good becomes evil and evil becomes good. Things get messed up in thought and in process. Because the resh, which also symbolizes wicked, stands for the wicked, man is born into wickedness. He has to return to the Lord to get back on this path. The Bible says, Jesus said, narrow is the way that leads to righteousness. This path from, from this earth to heaven. This, this path is, is, it's not plural. It's not broad. It's very narrow. We can return, get greatness, through, and choose greatness. But, that, but that, that's our choice. Matter of fact, I want, I want us to look at John 14, 6 before we go. I'm running out of time. John 14, 6. Let's look at that real quick. Listen to what it says. Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. One path. He's the one that restored the passageway between the heaven and the earth. Anyone can return, but he has to do it through repentance and belief in the works of Christ. Not his own works, the works of Christ. And thus, we depart from wickedness. That's in the beginning. God knowing the ending from the beginning. It's in the plan. He's the God. He's the creator. Gotta go. <laughs> Psalms 91 cover you. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.